extra excited for you playing a team from your uh, I mean, it's pretty neat just because they're from California. They're not nearly like close to me, but I mean, I know, you know a few kids. Uh, played against a few of them as well. Uh, you know, I'm excited. You know, they're going to come here. They're a they're ranked team, very well coached, and a lot of good players on that team. So I'm looking forward to that, see how we stacked up against them. Sorry, I know you're Southern California, and that's up in North yeah. Cali. Did they recruit you at all? Uh, I think, like, uh, when I first got my offer from SC, yeah, when I was a freshman, they were they were talking to me a little bit. Uh, they wanted me to visit, but, like, I didn't I didn't see myself going to NorCal. Um, but, you know, yeah, they I, I know they're a very well-coached, a disciplined team. It's going to be it's gonna be interesting to see how we match up against them. Which Mitch. guys on that team do you know? You said you know a uh, uh, Trayvon Beck. I know you went to Bosco. I remember watching him when I was younger and then uh, – uh, watching him uh, play them at seven on seven. You know their quarterback Chase Garbers played against him at seven on seven. They were, I forgot what team he played for, but it was, I think want to say it was like I don't know, but I know I played against a few of them in uh, seven on seven. And Trayvon Beck went to Bosco. Yeah, I said that. But um, yeah, you know I know they know know of me or know me. Uh, one of their receivers, Nico, played against him when he was at Modern Day. Good kid, good athlete. Uh, you know I'm I'm looking forward to it for sure. You know. Obviously, you watch film on them right now. And yeah. They're coming in here with a secondary. they got a big name for their secondary and all that good stuff. Just your thoughts on what you're seeing out of their safeties? No, they're good. They're fast. Uh, got a lot of good change in direction. Their they're interior D line's pretty sm They're smart. And, uh, uh, you know, they're not very athletic, but they're smart. So that makes up for a lot of it. And, you know, that's something that we're going to have to uh, take advantage of. A lot of people seem to think that uh, the early start here and the two time zones will be an advantage for you guys. I mean, what do you think? What effect I mean, might that have with the kids from California? I don't want to talk about, like, advantage. Last year, they, or, I mean, two years ago, they say they have the advantage. But, I mean, they still they still beat us. So, I mean, it's not – it's going to be hot. That's about it. I don't know if the time's really going to matter. But, I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be a good game. You know, you got to throw in a lot of different looks at, at offenses, trying to kind of confuse quarterbacks a little bit. Do you see on film them doing more of that than maybe what you've seen from some other teams? Yeah, they here? give a lot of everything. They give a lot of everything. And it's something we're going to uh, – me and the receivers are going to have to uh, have a good job of picking up. The answer might be there isn't one. But from your perspective, what's the difference between an athlete from California and maybe somebody from down south? No, I mean, I don't – I wouldn't necessarily say there's a difference. It's just – uh, you know, they're from California. They're used to the California lifestyle. They're not used to the you know, Mississippi heat, the weather, the humidity. They're not, you know, the, the time zone's different, as you guys said, if that's an excuse. But, um, you know, I, I would say there's a difference just what we're used to. You said you didn't envision yourself going to Northern California and recruiting. Is that because of the football opportunity? Is it a culture? Thing? No, it was just I just didn't want to go to NorCal. You know, I was already been in California my whole life. I didn't want to stay. So, you know. If I were to stay, I would have stayed home in Southern Cal, so. Sorry, you bring up the heat. I mean, you've obviously played a lot of football in the state of California. You've yeah. A lot of no, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's different. <laughs> it's different from a cool 75 every day, a over, little overcast, to being out here at 6 a.m. when it's 80 degrees in the morning, 6 in the morning, and uh, running in it. And then later at 2 o'clock when you got practice, it's even hotter. So, I mean, uh, there's a big difference. And that's something that – you know, it could uh, be an advantage, but, you know, at the end of the day, they're going to have to put the football down and play. Aside from running, can you assist, can you sense Jerry on and Snoop kind of getting more comfortable with pass blocking and some of the other things that come with playing running? Yeah, they've never had a problem doing that type of stuff. It's just them getting better at it. And when it, when that time comes to where they need to make that key block and they keep getting it over and over, I feel, I feel, I feel like that gives them more confidence in when it happens again. So, I mean... They haven't struggled with it, but in practice, they do a lot of uh, – coach. I know Coach Nix works them through a lot of pass pro, so I know they'll be ready for when it comes. What is your role in running in this offense? How much are you called on for that? What kind of freedom? If it's open, take it. I mean, I'm not going to be scared to run. If it's – like Rich Rod tells me, if, it, if it's a made call for the quarterback and it's one of the reads and I have it, you're going to take it. And I'm not going to just force it, force the football because I don't want to run or I'm not going to – force around because I don't want to throw the football. So it's it's pretty much what's open, take it. Rich has talked to us a little bit in the last couple of weeks about wanting you to play within the system. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Uh, you know, just pretty much making a check saying, oh, you know, we have we have a play over here and I can go backside and give them whatever, give them a slant or a go or a hitch or whatever. And I'm not looking at what he 
called over here. I just thought so. It's like stuff like that, or if I just check out of it, which is not necessarily the thing to do unless you know they give us a certain thing, a certain look. So gotcha. he's also talked about the importance of kind of getting another one of these receivers coming <coughs> along. Elijah's obviously been a huge part of the offense. None of the other guys have anything resembling those numbers. Do you sense that coming along? Yeah, you know, I mean, we've I know Coach Peter's uh, been been pressing them about uh, doing doing the right things and making sure they do those every single play, and uh, you know, just really working them in practice and when we're when we go good on good and uh, scout. So I mean, just getting them the ball, getting the ball in their hands at the right time is when the time to work it. And I feel like we've done a good job of that. Along those lines, Braylon looked like he's back in practice. Yeah. He is able to go. How much of a difference does that make just having an older it's guy? It's just another receiver that I trust out there. It's just, uh, you know, me and Braylon have the on and off the field chemistry. Uh, we hang out a lot. And, you know, that's, that's my brother right there. So I trust him. And uh, it's just him getting reps and get him getting back in shape because I know he hasn't been out there in a while. So, were you seeing the field better Saturday? You, you threw to ten different receivers. Uh, you know, were you, were you going through more progressions, or what was more comfortable, or what was happening with you? Uh, no, I feel like we just used different personnel. Uh, we used all types of different personnel and uh, ran ran plays, but uh, it just used different people. So I mean, it wasn't necessarily I'm doing this on purpose. It just so happened to be that this guy's out there. So. I wasn't trying to do that for a bit, no. How about your level of comfort level? Do you think? Just, just, I mean, you got three games under your belt to start. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I mean, the season's going by fast. It's already three games in, almost four. But I mean, <clears throat> I started feeling comfortable really after Arkansas and being comfortable in that game environment when we go on the field and it's like, okay, we're here. You know, just, uh, you know, it's just like practice. You know, they move a little faster because, uh, um, you know, that's, that's, that's their starting D. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, 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 does it feel, they say it feels different when you're out there on the field, which, like, when, when it's your first time, yeah, obviously it does. Uh, but, you know, when you, when you get out there and, you're, you know, you finally figure out, you know what you're doing and you have confidence in what you're doing, all that goes away. So 